a couple months ago, I did cry over a boy. <laughs> oh my god, why is the food sticking out? What? Today is the day it's gonna be doing something crazy. Why are they trying to come in? We're picking up Murphy. Hey! Oh my god, they shaped up a little too much hair. <laughs> Hey guys, it is Friday, August 9th. Welcome to the vlog. It's Courtney if you're new here. It's been a really chill morning. I started off really slow. Yeah, I still have my pajamas on from last night because I haven't showered. And this is something I've noticed about myself. In order to be productive, I actually have to get ready. Like, I just feel like I need to look presentable to get stuff done. My brain, I need structure. Anytime y'all see I'm not posting videos, just know my brain, there's something going on. There's chaos happening. When I'm posting videos on both channels, yeah. Your girl's back. Last night, I went to dinner with Doris. We went to this one restaurant called Toca Madera. Um, they just opened up a Toca Madera in Houston and it was nice, like really, really nice. I really enjoyed eating there. I've been to the Toca Madera that's in LA and I think they also have one in Vegas, but I didn't go to that one. But I went to the one in Houston. It was popping on a Thursday. I said, why are there so many people? <laughs> Our reservation was at 9.15. Why did we get sat at 9.45? And the service was a little bit slow, but I will say the food was really, really delicious. I mean, if you're looking for a new pop-in restaurant in Houston, try out Taco Madera, because I did really like the vibe. It's very beautiful. And I will say it was a little bit pricey. Y'all, tell me why. These little tacos were like $34. Excuse me? Look at this. There's only two tacos on that plate. It was $34. I said, excuse Where's the manager? And then I realized the beef that was in it is Wagyu beef. Look. I don't understand why it's $34, but it was delicious. I can't lie, I finished that whole thing. Right now, I'm about to eat another factor meal. I think this is gonna be the last month, or maybe I'm gonna do factor again, like in September, because it's my birthday month, it might be a little busy. Then I'm gonna stop with factor and go back to cooking, because I feel like I have not cooked in so long. Like, the main reason I got factor was because I just didn't feel like I had enough time to cook foods, because I was traveling so much. But like, now, we're calming down. Like, summer's coming to an end, which, I don't know why I'm, I kind of don't mind. I don't know, I don't know. The only thing I cook nowadays is eggs. And I don't even cook it, I boil it. We need to go back to cooking because I don't even know if I can cook anymore. But yeah, today we are eating smoky Gouda chicken, okay? Someone commented on my video one day saying, oh, this is obviously product placement. And she has the audacity to say it's not sponsored. It's not. Like, I literally eat this every day. Also, some people have said that, like, they feel like these factor meals don't have much seasoning. It doesn't. That's why you add your own. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, water talk one. This is like my little juice, even though it's not juice. I never thought I would be the person adding little packets to my water. I never thought I'd be that person, but here I am. This cherry limeade flavor from Sonic is the only water packet that I like so far. Like I've tried like the Skittles, ew, nasty. Remember, I made a video on my main channel. I made a video like last year, I believe, about water talk, like I was clowning them. Try this water flavor. I want to. Look at me, look at me. This is sad. It's actually sad, but you know, maybe they knew a thing or two, you know what I'm saying? The only issue is I don't add like the syrup. Y'all saw I added like the little powder. The Water Talk community also adds syrup. That's too much, cause this is already super sweet. I can't imagine it getting sweeter. I've just been having this like once a day, like usually when I have like my lunch. It makes me feel good. Also, I got movie tickets to go and see It Ends With Us. I don't know if y'all have seen the book, but basically it's a book by Colleen Hoover. She's been popular, okay? She has like a bunch of different books, but her most popular book that everyone raves about is It Ends With Us. And I started reading the book, but I never got to finish it because I was just very inconsistent with reading. Like now, so far in my life, I feel like I'm very consistent with reading. Like I currently am about to finish like this one fantasy book. I'll show y'all later, but I'm actually shocked that I'm like reading during my free time. Basically, I saw that it Ends With Us has like an actual movie that's out and I cannot wait to see it. I saw this one girl's TikTok, she went in and she was crying the whole time and I feel like I need a good cry. I need to feel something because I don't know the last time I cried, I'm not gonna lie. Like, yeah, I don't know the last time I cried. I'm the type of person that cries when I have like motivational talks with my friends and we're just like, oh my God, like look at our life or we'll talk about like, just like our goals and stuff. I'll start tearing up, I don't know why. Or if I start talking about, oh my God, like y'all are such good friends, I'll start tearing up. But other than that, I don't really cry that much. Okay, a couple months ago, I did cry over a boy. <laughs> that was, you know, a moment. But other than that, I haven't cried much and I'm ready to like tear up a little bit. That's all I have planned for today. <sighs> 
It's time to go to the movies. Literally, I did not edit a single thing today. I was in my feels, okay? I just wanted to be in bed all day. It was a lazy Friday and we're going to the movies and I'm going with a friend. It's my fit of the night, just very co cozy because you never know if the movie theater is gonna be cold. I'm just hoping that this movie is actually good. I have high hopes and I'm just glad to be out of the house. Okay, so I'm most likely gonna be recording on my phone. So hopefully the quality doesn't decrease too much, but I'm excited. To the movies we go. That movie was so good. 10 out of 10, it ends with us. Because I didn't finish the book, I was not expecting the end to be like this. I'm not gonna give any spoilers, but oh, your girl cried in that movie theater. I hate when I like cry in movie theaters because it's like, you wanna wipe your tear, but I feel like the moment you do this, the person next to you can tell. They're like, oh yeah. Cause any anytime I saw someone doing this, like somebody on the right of me was full on crying. Like they had their sweater like this, wiping the tears. I need to be going to the movies more because I feel like it just hits different when you're watching it with the whole entire crowd and not just yourself. Like I I thoroughly enjoyed that movie. If you guys haven't watched it, go and see It Ends With Us. Like I, I, I enjoyed it so much. But now I'm about to go home, but wow, what a movie. Happy Tuesday, y'all. It is a new week. It's Tuesday and I feel good, baby. Okay. We got eggs boiled up as per usual. You know, I need to low-key slow down on the boiled eggs because I'm going a little crazy with it. But it's just so easy to make. Like, I haven't eaten anything all day. I'm about to go to the gym. What am I gonna eat? What did I do this morning? Oh, I ordered a bunch of stuff for a video that I'm planning on filming on my main channel. So that was really fun. I'm gonna be trying TikTok snacks. On Sunday, we uploaded a video. Y'all are loving it, so I'm happy about that. Yeah, let's come to the gym. Cause I'm low-key in a time crunch for today because literally right when I get back from the gym, meetings. Or actually, okay. I added the S on meeting, so it seems like a lot. Okay, I only have one meeting. And it's at 2 p.m. And right now it is about to be 12.30, so we need to get going. Really trying to be consistent with the gym. I mean, I have been pretty consistent, I'm not gonna lie, but the last two weeks I fell off hard. Like, I was still going, but when it came to my diet, oh, it was in the trenches. June and July, I can't lie, once I came out from Turks, I was in the gym. Or no, I wasn't, I'm lying. I was eating healthy. I've been doing good, I've been keeping up with my factory meals, and I felt like I was really seeing progress in my body, even in my face. And the last two weeks, I really messed that up a lot. And I think that's the issue with me. I feel like I can be so consistent, and then when I mess up, I mess up bad. I don't get it. I mean, I do get it now. I'm kind of starting to learn myself a lot better. Like, I feel like when I'm stressed about stuff, when I'm, when I'm just down, when I'm in a slump or something, healthy eating, having a clean place, everything that makes me happy just goes down the drain. And also, my unhealthy eating isn't even so superly unhealthy, but you know, I was ordering fast food almost every single day. And that's just not gonna happen again because in my head it's like, one, all the fast food that I had, like it was great in the moment, but I'm telling you, the feeling I have after I eat it is just not as satisfying as it used to be. Hopefully that's a sign for growth, but you never know, okay? I might order some sh some donuts later, so. <laughs> you never know. My realization process of like, girl, you haven't been to the gym, you're not eating the best, it's coming quicker. Because you, you before in the past, like I'm thinking about January, I was in the gym, I was eating healthy, all of that. I went like months without going again. And now it's like two weeks, oh that's not bad. Gotta take the vitamins. We got my vitamin D. Um, my doctor told me I was deficient, so I'm trying to be consistent with actually taking it every day. I don't know how I'm deficient. I feel like I be in the sun a lot. And then my gummies, you know, I love my gummies. Vitamin C and a woman's multivitamin. But yeah, today we're gonna go to the gym. 45 minute walk on the treadmill. Incline of five, speed of three. I've been trying to hit 10K steps every single day. I'm honestly okay with 7,000 steps, but 10K is the ultimate goal. Factor, duh. Literally only have one more meal left. So, came in perfectly. Fusely ground pork tomato ragu. Loaded mashed potatoes and shredded chicken. Potato leek mash and grilled chicken. Oh, I haven't tried that. Ooh. Look, y'all, the fridge is low-key giving packed, okay? To some people, okay. To me, this is kind of a packed fridge. Oh my God, why is the food sticking out? Wait, don't tell me. Ew, now I don't wanna, oh my God, it was like smashed. Wait, this kind of turned me off in a way I didn't expect. Like, it was just a little accident, I guess. Ugh, that's so annoying. Okay, now I need to double check and make sure all my other meals are safe. Let's put in the fridge. Should I drink an energy drink? 
Oh my god, I need to go. See, I talk too much. That's my issue. Like, all I do is talk, talk, talk. Like, nobody's trying to hear me right now. The first person ever diagnosed with COVID, monkey, AIDS, pox. What? Man diagnosed with COVID-19, monkey, pox, and HIV. Peace. rush back so we can make it to the meeting my hair looks crazy had a good workout sesh I didn't get to work out as much as I wanted like lifting wise I definitely did my 45 minute walk um, but I was only able to do like two workouts and I didn't even record that because I was just in a rush and it's raining y'all great meeting very cool very cool a nice little check-in with my manager but now I got a shower also I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna film today like should I film today because it's rainy like look y'all can't even see for real the sun is not out. It's gloomy. Y'all can see it right there. It's kind of gloomy a little bit. Just gloomy. And like this type of weather, it gives like, I want to snuggle up and watch a movie or watch a show. Cause right now I've been watching The Boys on Prime Video. I think we might just have to film tomorrow. It's been a couple hours. Y'all, why was I just on the phone with my sisters for like three hours? Sisterly love. I got myself a new delivery. Ah, so cute. Y'all, I literally ordered this from DoorDash because my flowers, they're done for and I'm ready to replace them, okay? And DoorDash is actually the sponsors of today's video. Ah, I cannot believe it. Y'all know how much I love DoorDash. DoorDash, as y'all probably already know, is a delivery service. And most people know DoorDash for just delivering food. Me, I use it to order everything. Every single thing. Groceries, flowers. I've even ordered makeup from DoorDash. Sometimes I need the product right now and I don't have time to go to the store and I also don't have time to order online and wait for it to come in a couple days. No, I'm gonna order it on DoorDash and it's gonna come in an hour, maybe even less. Even when I'm out the country and I forget something, yeah, hold up, let me pull up DoorDash real quick. It's really just that easy and I think that's my favorite thing about DoorDash, just how reliable it is and how quick and fast it is. I feel like it's one of those apps that I just feel like I'll never be able to delete. I've literally been a member since May 2022. Literally 20 minutes ago, I looked at my flowers and said, yeah, we need some new flowers. And I have new flowers. And I don't know if it's just me, but sometimes I use DoorDash to find new cuisine. Like if I want to try Italian food, but I don't feel like going to an Italian restaurant, yeah, I'm gonna order on DoorDash. If I want to try Nigerian cuisine, Indian cuisine, I will literally order it on DoorDash. DoorDash is your door to more. So if you want it, DoorDash can deliver it. Yeah. I've also used DoorDash to deliver flowers and gifts to people. I literally use it for everything. So if you want to download DoorDash, you can scan the QR code here. Or when you sign up, you can use core 50 for 50% off, up to $10 on your first order of $15 or or more. But yeah, thank you so much DoorDash for sponsoring this video. Let's put the new flowers to work. Yeah, these flowers are done for. I never even understand flowers. Like, are they meant to die? What is the purpose? Like, actually, there is a purpose. I actually really enjoy playing with the flowers and everything, but I just feel like it's dying so fast. I think I need to get back on track with changing the water and adding more flower food because I feel like my other flowers, before I was traveling a lot, I feel like it used to last longer. And then this is the water just murky. Murky, murky, murky. How does this even happen? I don't know. Science is crazy, bro. I wish these flowers were actually pink. Like, ugh. It's basically white. Boring. Okay, so what I do to remove the leaves very easily is I got this little tool from Amazon and I literally just slide it on there. So I put it there. Just like that. Like I said, I was on the phone with my sisters for three hours. I don't know how the time just like flu but oh my god i just miss living with them my sister just finished her like summer class so this is like the most i've talked to her actually because she was in the books like studying studying but she's literally starting college like next week and it's just crazy to me so we were just having like the college talk like just telling her like you know just giving her some advice um because college is very new especially when you're like leaving high school and i just don't want my sister making the wrong mistakes but i mean if she makes the mistakes it is what it is but i gotta give her the keys to success because nobody really prepared me i got in there i don't know i survived okay so we got this look at the flowers and this was all pink, oh, it would eat. If you guys are wondering why you have to take out the leaves, I mean, you don't have to, but I like to do that because if you keep the leaves in there and it goes into the water, it'll start to grow mold. And we don't wanna do that. We wanna do everything to elongate the life of these flowers and minimize mold. So we got the flower food, of course. And I usually like to take like one little 
flour and swirl it up. Also, these flowers are really, really tall compared to my vase or vase. I don't know what y'all call it. I'm just a girl. <laughs> what I like to do is I kind of like try and measure it because I want the flower to sit right here, right? So I like to measure it and cut. So wherever it stops is where I'm gonna cut it. And I like to cut it at an angle, just like that. You see the little angle? Period. And so as you can see, it's right there. Okay, look at the flowers. Look at that, so cute. This is done and I'm just gonna leave it on my dining table. And then we have this vase here and this vase is gonna be from my bedroom. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing all over again. Oh my God, so pretty. When I say I like flowers, I mean it. Like I genuinely, I just love having them around. It's just so pretty. But let's put this up and I'm about to eat dinner and I think I'm gonna call it a night. We have a long day tomorrow. I do something huge tomorrow. I don't think I've told y'all what I'm doing tomorrow because what I'm doing tomorrow is actually crazy. Like every time I tell it to someone, they're like, what, you're doing what now? I'm gonna let y'all know tomorrow because I don't know, sometimes I just be talking too much. So I'm gonna wait till the day of, which is tomorrow and Give you all the details, but I'm doing something really huge tomorrow evening. It's gonna be my first time. I haven't gotten nervous yet. This was a cute little Tuesday. Um, I got a lot of stuff done, I'm not gonna lie. It was nice seeing y'all. Okay, see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> Good night. Y'all, happy Wednesday. Um, today is the day. Today is the day that I told y'all I was gonna be doing something crazy, something I've never done before. It is 6.34 and I'm about to leave. And I mean, uh, actually, you saw the title. So today I'm going out with like five other strangers and Doris is also doing it. Say hey Doris. Hi. Yeah, so we are both going to dinner with complete strangers. She has her group of strangers, I have my group of strangers and I actually never thought I'd be doing something like this. One day I was just scrolling on Instagram, I see an ad that says, oh my God, like go to dinner with strangers. And for some reason my brain thought, I wanna try that. And so that is what we're doing today. Me and Doris both signed up for the app and I think we paid like $16 just to like have our like stuff reserved. But we don't know who any of these people are. They've only told us like small little details about the people. Before the dinner, right? They tell us a little bit of information about everybody. The industries that they work in is like technology, hospitality, arts, and media, and social media. And then they tell me the nationality. So there's people that are from the United States, Iran, and also Venezuela. Okay, multicultural. And then the signs of the people that are gonna be at this dinner is a Virgo, which I'm assuming is me, Sag, Aquarius, Aries, Capricorn. And they told me what restaurant we're gonna be meeting at, and we're gonna be going to this place called Lock Bar. Hold on, Doris. My man's is calling, bye. <laughs> This was so fun. <laughs> Y'all, I definitely, definitely recommend that you try this. If you're interested in meeting new people in your city or just like being spontaneous and trying something new, I highly recommend it. Also, I don't know why. Y'all, I'm in the restroom. Why is there a couch here? Why is this here? Anyways, y'all, this was such a fun experience. Everyone is so nice, so sweet. And like, I highly recommend this to anybody that's like one in a new city. Like you can actually make new friends by doing this. And then also just like, you just wanna meet new people. You wanna leave the house and you wanna, you know, make plans, do this. Because I am so happy. I really had no idea who I was gonna meet. And I just feel so happy with the people that I met today, like everyone's so cool and so nice. And like, I just had an experience, a great experience. I would rate this a 10 out of 10. Doris is here. Um, remember, we did this experience together, but we were in completely different groups. All the people that did this experience, they all met up at the same bar. So we have Doris here with us. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Why are they trying to come in? So, so far, I really like the experience. Um, I didn't expect it to like th this much. I was very nervous. I was shaking a lot. I get shaky when I'm anxious and I was shaking. Shaking like a tail feather. But I really liked it. Everyone's really nice. My whole entire group, I have everyone's number right now. Very diverse. It's a really good experience. I'm having a lot of fun. And I feel like if you guys have it in your city, whatever, are you telling them the app? Yeah, time left. If you guys have time left in your city or wherever you stay, do it. I definitely think you should do it. I didn't think I was gonna like it as much. I was like, let me just do it to say that I did it so that I'm doing something different with my life. And I'm very glad that I did it. I loved all of them. Yeah. All the girls were super pretty. The guys were super cool. Everyone, we were 
trying to guess everyone's occupation. Oh, we did that too. Yeah, and so no one guessed I was an influencer. I, I don't know why I was kind of hurt. Because there's one girl that was super late, and they're like, oh, she's probably the model and influencer, because, you know, she's going to be fashionably late. And I'm just sitting there like, yeah, she probably is the model and influencer. For some reason, the only option on the app was to put that I'm a model and influencer. I wish there was just, like, influencer. And to be honest, I might even just put art next time. Yeah, she lied about her career. When they me. asked me, I was like, bad for life y'all are my friends now what did yeah I no that's what i was thinking in my head i, I was like i don't mind telling y'all the truth because usually i don't like to tell people i'm a I'm youtuber scared. Should I tell them the truth today? no it's okay no way this is scaring me no. it's gonna haunt me anyways you don't have to feel bad at all because at the end of the day the friends that they can't hear you who cares the me okay my uber is here okay. y'all i'm going home end of the night i really really highly recommend this go do this if you're lonely well okay not only if you're lonely but do you want to meet some people y'all it is friday and guess what we're picking up murphy finally hey! finally i have missed my son everyone has been like where's murphy where's murphy some people were trying to call me a bad mother because i put my son in training program no but we're picking him up today i'm really excited oh my how are you feeling i'm very excited i haven't seen my baby in a long time so i'm happy so Your baby. Yes. Girl, not baby too much. Is. My it's son, it. my son, but it's gonna be nice for him to just like roam around, do what he do. I'm gonna, I can't wait to see Murphy. Like I, something's so been long. missing and it's Murphy. No, something has been missing. Even when I'm here at my apartment, I'm like, I feel so lonely. I feel so bored. Like I don't even know how I live without a dog at one point. Okay, see y'all. Murphy, look at the tail wagging. <laughs> Murphy. He's so big. Yes. We're here with Murphy and he's so excited. <laughs> Murphy. Oh my God. <laughs> so as you can see, Murphy's very excited and I'm so happy to see him. Like he needs a cut ASAP. Oh. Murphy, chill. I'm one girl. He's not as red as he, or brown as he used to be. It's like fading. Yeah, he's fading. Murphy, stop licking. I think he just needs like, to cut the old hair. This is the old hair. He needs the new hair. No, the Murphy new hair is gonna be blonde. Home sweet home. We got our son back. Woo! Yes. Murphy! Home we go. Oh wait, actually, no, I need a call to see if Pest Smart is available because Murphy's too furry, too. It's, it's too much. His nails are so long. His his teeth need to be brushed. There's a lot of things. This is how Murphy, how little he used to be. Hi, um, I wanted to know if you guys have any availability today. Uh, for what kind of service? Um, for grooming. We won't be able to book you until you pay for the previous service. Oh my god, <laughs> I did not know. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, no problem. I didn't pay. He gagged you. It's crazy. <laughs> That Ooh, so girl, we're, that we're is so recording. humiliating. Yeah, <laughs> that means that they let me leave. Yeah, we, what? they that let me so leave funny. without paying because you gave me my dog. How can I leave without? Oh they think I, I ran. I, 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 oh my she god, said so <laughs> she yeah, said, need Yeah, uh, we won't be able to book you until you pay the last thing you did. And I have to go to the same exact place I went last time to pay it. Go back. <laughs> and you know, there was a time they called me after Murphy left. Yeah, good boy. Okay, this is unsafe. What's going on? This is unsafe. Murphy, I'ma see you when we get home. Chill, bro. But you be yo, yo, you be yo, yo, you be yo. So right now we are at PetSmart to drop Murphy off. The place that we typically go to was actually not available today. They said the earliest availability is 7 a.m. tomorrow. I said, girl, this dog needs to be cut today. Was this Murphy? <laughs> Y'all, I don't know who this dog is. We just picked him up and um, they shaved up a little too much hair. <laughs> they brought the dog, they brought Murphy. I said the dog, I'm not even referring to him as my pet anymore. <laughs> they brought Murphy out and I genuinely thought it was a random dog. <laughs> Murphy? 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 Oh, I was about to say, he's not answering his name. Look at him, he's so tiny. I didn't ask for this much hair. Or maybe I did, I don't know. But Murphy, you're never he's getting heavy. this one. Wow. Yes, he's 10 pounds. Look, look at him, y'all look at him, Jesus. look at him, look at him. He's so tiny, who, I didn't know he was this skinny. This is not my dog, oh my God. Murphy. Oh my God, look at how, I didn't know Murphy's limbs were long like this. Yeah. 
this is what Murphy looked like before his haircut. Well, his neck is so this is what he is now. Yeah.